this is called Google Drive, and this is my Google Drive account. And if you've never used Gmail or Google Drive, uh, this is kind of what it looks like. And you can see I've got a lot of folders here, and I've got some random files kind of hanging out there. And it's just like any Windows PC where you've got folders inside of folders inside of folders. Each of these folders has subfolders in them, and it helps me organize my world. And you can even see we're, we're doing some mascot contests, and they're in bold right now because I've gotten new submissions for the mascot votes and different things like that. So I created this survey, which all the students are using to vote on the mascot, through this. And so in class, what they're doing is if they have a PowerPoint presentation, let's say they're working at a group, for example, the health class last week, they had to research a topic, let's say um, pulmonary disease. They had to research it in groups, create a PowerPoint presentation, get up in front of the entire class, and present the information that they had learned teach the class, cite their sources, have a poster with information on it that they can hang up in the room as a reminder. Well, the PowerPoint presentation, if you've got more than one person in a group working on a PowerPoint presentation, the old way to do it was one person did all the work and everyone else kind of watched. It's not the way we do it anymore. You can track my um, pointer here. If you go over to Create, there are all of these wonderful things. And one of them says Presentation. When you click on that, it's basically Microsoft PowerPoint. The amazing thing about this is, once a student starts creating a PowerPoint presentation, they can come up here to this share button. And this is where the magic actually happens. When they click this share button, this little box comes up. And it says, people, enter the names or email addresses. So if I'm in a group, and then Susie's my partner. Susie, what's your email address? Okay, Susie Smith at student. Type it in. Susie can be in her house in Plymouth, while I'm in my house in Ypsilanti. And at 7 o'clock at night, we can both be online, on our computers, working on the same PowerPoint presentation at the same time. And while I'm typing in the title, she sees me typing in the title. While she's adding a picture, I see her adding a picture. And we don't have to print it, we don't have to save it. When we're done, we just close it. And when we come into school, there's no losing your homework. You can't forget your computer at home because it's not saved on your computer, it's saved on the internet. And so when they come into school, they go on the computer, they log in, they bring it up and they present. Or even better, they share it with the teacher. And here's where more magic happens teacher can click a button and everything that I did is highlighted green and everything that Susie did is highlighted blue. And so the teacher knows exactly how much of this PowerPoint presentation I did and how much Susie did. And so if everything's highlighted blue, okay Mr. Chesney, what did you do on this PowerPoint presentation? Well, I was sitting next to her while we were doing it and I did all of the research. Okay. Susie, is that true? Yeah, no, you did all the research. I did all the typing, that's why. Okay but it allows the teacher to ask those questions. This isn't just PowerPoint presentation, it's Word documents, it's uh, pictures, it's uh, Excel spreadsheets, it's everything. And so when a teacher makes a homework assignment, and says, write me an essay on this, or answer these questions, generally it's done through Google Docs, so the kids aren't turning in a bunch of sheets of paper. Oh, I forgot that sheet of paper at home. They do it on Google Docs, they hit share, the teacher has it. There's even timestamps on there, so the teacher can see when you did your homework. Oh, 10 minutes before class started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The reason I'm showing this to you is because for you, this is helpful. So if you want to see what assignments they're turning in, what things they're doing in their classes, what kind of work they're actually doing, a teacher maybe gives you a score on Internet Campus of a 0.5. Okay, what does a 0.5 mean? I mean, we're going to talk about that in a second. Um, I see they got a 0.5. I know they turned in the homework assignment. Well, what does that mean? You can actually go into their Google Drive. You can click on the file that they did. You can pull it up and actually see their homework assignment. You might see comments and feedback on it from other students. You might see comments and feedback on it from the teacher. You might not. But you can actually see everything that they did. If you log into this and look at, this is where all of their homework assignments basically are. All right, so this is Google Drive. Let's move to Infinite Campus.